Oh man, okay, uh, it's been a while since they were- Jesus. Look at me spiking it. Uh, it's been a while since the last episode. Um, uh, let me, let me take this moment to, to kind of clarify some things that are going to happen. I want to talk about, um, plans for the future I have for the podcast, which is, um, uh, I'm not sure if all the viewers know this, but I mean, I know that most viewers are just friends and potential family and just listeners. people. Yeah, just listeners, but, um, you know, I don't know if I've been on the same page with all of you that my plan is to, to go to college out of state, um, which shouldn't be really an issue as far as making content in, in this regard, because I can take my, my stuff with me, but... Um, we're looking at housing plans uh, at the place I want to go, and it's looking like I'll have like maybe six roommates. Ooh. So I, I would assume that unless they're all super down to have a quiet time or, or even participate in the podcast, that'll be a very black and white uh, yes or no as to whether this podcast continues post this summer, which sucks. <laughs> what What was this? I don't know who that is. Oh, is that? Is that? Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. So. <laughs> fucking spikes. <laughs> so. I had recorded a few episodes. I have an episode with Michael and Trevor, or not Trevor, Ma Michael and Zach, who. I've established are going to be pretty regular since they live close by and they can kind of pop in at any time. Um, and they always have good things to say. Um, but our last... Did you know this kid? It's fucking weird. <laughs> um... <laughs> you know how I can describe that kid? Do you remember that Bob Ross quote? When it's like, you know, there's light times and there's dark times. And you just have to wait for the light times to come. You know? And it's like, I'm in a pretty dark place right now. But I'm just waiting for the... Just waiting for the good times now. And he just kind of looks at the camera. That's that guy. <laughs> He's just like, hey, I have all these games on my Steam library that I uh, that I bought so I can play with a friend. With a friend. Just waiting. Just waiting now. <laughs> It's like, oh, he doesn't have friends. Oh, whoops. And then they'll send Mike. Why don't you become friends with him? And then I'll go, no. <laughs> no. I'm sorry, I didn't mean right. to interrupt your... Continue. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've already been great so far, Mike. Well, uh, <laughs> I'll do my best. All right. Well, uh, I guess I'm going to have to take away your last Twix bar. Come <laughs> on. <laughs> Um, no, here. Um, so, yeah, I recorded an episode with Mike, uh, Michael, and, uh, Zach, and it was about the Oscars, so I feel like it would be really weird to release that now. Hashtag Oscar so white. Yeah, and, um, it would, uh, literally just kind of be me and him arguing about Arrival for two hours, and Zach not saying anything, and then commenting <laughs> and saying, I said nothing, and you guys talked for an hour. <laughs> Which is fine. It was still interesting discussion. It wasn't like, it wasn't very, ho it wasn't hostile. You know, it was. You know, it's still something I'm comfortable putting on the internet. Mm -hmm. But it's just long and, and and not very like. It's too focused. It like we don't. I mean, change. did you just not? Yeah, did you just not budge at all? We didn't budge for like an hour. On arrival. Oh. No, we we but we both eventually like compromised. But like that's usually how him and I's discussions go. Is like, it takes a while to get there because not everything is said. Until we off offload the PDF, <laughs> uh, <laughs> and um, and then so and then I also did and I, <gasps> why did you set yourself on fire? Oh Jesus, I'm actually on fire. <laughs> I'm like, am I still on fire? <laughs> yeah, oh, fire that lasts a long. Time. No, you're still on fire, sir. Fire is long. Quote Garrett report. Fire is long. Um. But anyway, um, what are happen as well is that I also recorded a, a short interview 
with a fellow student of mine who works in the theater de- uh, theater tech department because I thought that was just sort of an interesting talk topic to talk about. We were talking. Uh, it was Joanna. I oh, interviewed. Great, yeah, and no, no, she was super good. It was like one of the coolest episodes ever. But it's like ten minutes. It's like ten minutes long. Oh. And um, and then I tried to record a huge group of people, and it's just shouting for like five minutes. That sounds like a terrible idea. Yeah. So I have three things that probably aren't good standalones. Um, I might cut them together. Uh, but I just I wanted to to be like that's why there hasn't been content. In, oh like, fuck yeah, the Khalil. Yeah, dude, this gun's great. In both multiplayer yeah, and love, like, I love the this is the gun that wins the game. This is my favorite gun. Also, I love. I gauge how good guns are by the way they sound, and this one sounds the goodest. This is the equivalent of the ACR in the model of affairs. Yeah, like it's just the the point to win. Oh, am I dead? My dad came in to check. I'll probably leave that in. It wasn't bad. <laughs> <laughs> News is out. Big, big if true. Garrett lives with parents. Do you remember that RV and the Chief episode where they had that? Hold on, you're gonna talk about my favorite show now? I've only ever seen one episode of it, and then I stopped watching after like you're wrong. Halfway, you're wrong. It was just it was years ago that I saw it, but I always come back to it, and I've just never sat through an episode. Which one? It was the one where where. Um, they're playing Grand Theft Auto 4, and this guy comes in. Oh, it was XXX smoke weed for like yes! 20 XX. And he's like, oh, that's my friend. And he's like, give me that faggot. Oh, when the dad comes but yeah, in. He's like, he's like, five more minutes, Mom! He's like, I'm back, bitches. <laughs> like, dude, what the fuck? Everyone's like laughing at him. It's like, smoke, let's go, let's... What was it? It was like, let's go, let's go fuck them up. And it's like, yeah... Smoke those motherfuckers. It's like, I thought that... It's like, Darren, I thought that... I thought I told you to turn that off. But Darren, my friend just logged on. Yeah. Oh, that's a zombie. Yeah, they just come out of the ground. Um, so I'm here with, uh, Mike. Hey. Um, not Michael. Mike. He's different. Yeah. Miguel. He's different than us. Miguel. We've got to treat him as such. <laughs> differences. Yay, differences. And, uh... He's a friend of mine from school, and him and I work a lot on things, or will will be really like we, don't, we haven't done a whole lot together. We've been in productions together. Oh, we were. Ah, oh, fuck! Oh, he just took off, dude. He let. He was like, "I'm done. I get to go to heaven now." This was Dark Souls, and he didn't even know it. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Fucking. Um, He's playing. Uh, we did arsenic. We did arsenic. God, do we want to talk about arsenic? Who the fuck from arsenic is gonna hear this? That's a loaded gun. Especially not the fucking succubus. <laughs> Holy shit! Okay, I guess we're there. I, I, I mean, she did me so fucking wrong. I, I have nothing. All right. I mean, I, I okay. Per, I'll just say this personally. I had nothing against her because I didn't. Yeah. I'm friends with her on Facebook currently. I think I just added her a couple days ago. So oh, I'm no. Dude, I don't... She This this isn't linked. Like, my Facebook has no idea about this podcast. Unless people from Facebook have seen my podcast. No, I mean, oh, no. Like, you added her. Like, f- fuck you. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean... And not to her. say no one talks shit about others in that context, but... Who's that? Oh. Wait, who was that? It was in a hospital bed. That was me. Was it? That was me. Oh, your face I dislocated was, my knee. Oh, your face was fat. Was it? I think it was just sweaty. So I was at a party. <laughs> Is that, are those the same thing to you? And it's like, hey, did she get fat? No, she just got sweatier. <laughs> I don't want to... That's a loaded gun as well. I don't <laughs> want to touch that. <laughs> um, yeah, so we've been in a few productions together. Um, and then uh, also he's playing Black Ops 2 Zombies right now because we love talking about zombies. Oh. But I, I'll, I'll spare a few words about Arsenic. Um... Uh, I had a realization the other day, Mike. Oh. If I had not done arsenic, uh-huh. and I had done... Because th- this is what happened that year. 
there were auditions for Arsenic, which I didn't. I was pulled in. I also didn't. Yeah, I was also pulled in. Um, and, um, and there were auditions for Epiphany, which I did audition for, and I didn't make that cast. And it was whatever. I didn't audition because I was at fucking PCC, and I ended up dropping out, like, literally two days into the semester. I was like, I don't like this school. It's too big. I don't know anybody here. Yeah. I'm leaving. Poor Michael. For what he wants to do, it's it's better, but I was, Oh, absolutely. Yeah, for what he wants oh, to do. Oh, their film program is fucking magnificent, but yeah. I didn't get in... I only got into one film class, and it was like a film theory, and I was like, I don't need a fucking... I don't need film theory. I know what... I, need, I know I, what films do. I need practical film. Yeah. Or film practice, I guess. Yeah. I probably... No. Experiment. That seems like a high school thing where they're like, they're like you know, they, they make you go through this introductory class and then the people who care stick it through. I think Jane Austen was a lesbian. Partial credit. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, okay. So, I didn't get into Epiphany. Yeah. But then, you know, they were like, oh, Arsenic and Lace. Very fun, like, you know. Be a short, cute... It's goofy! Yeah, shoot, go- goofy, little, cute, little thing like a high school play would do. And I was like, that seems non-committal and, and fun. And I, I, for the most part, for me, it was. Yeah. Um, and then... <laughs> but, dude, my life, that was one of those moments. That was one of those, like, forks in the road of one's life. If I was cast in... Fuck. <laughs> dude, think about it. If I was cast in Epiphany, and I didn't do Arsenic... My life would have gone a completely different direction. Yeah. I probably wouldn't have been with a certain person. I probably wouldn't have, um, uh, gotten close to and worked with the people that I did for Pale Horse. Because, uh-huh. um, Cause Levon didn't. Go. I mean, Levon wasn't in Arsenic, but he went to go see it. And that was a decision. That that show was kind of where he started getting casting ideas. So that's where he was like, "I definitely want Abel." Like, like if I if I Abel wasn't in. Oh fuck! I, I Abel was, was fuck. in in. I thought yeah, he was, Abel was, he was in the bad place. guy in both things. Um, yeah, he was the bad guy. No, yeah. Um, what's super funny about Arsenic was I had a friend at the time who was in a high school drama like department for like uh-huh. uh, Azusa High School and they did it the year after. That was better. <laughs> I mean, probably. Yeah, like Um that's just a s I, I don't it's just a silly play, dude. Are you saying silly play like like the play is silly? Like haha it's so silly or silly like uh, I'm not even worried about it. Both. Silly subject matter, which makes college students take it less seriously. Yes, the python! Huh? Python. Oh, the python, yeah. Dude, revolvers? Fuck, revolvers? I, I love revolvers. I hate revolvers. Why? Look at that. They're reliable, and that bothers me. <laughs> I love it. You're just sitting there silently like, what? What? Uh, they're, they're heavy. If we're talking about real guns and that's not shooting, I, they're heavy. Yeah, they're heavy. And I'm a little bitch. Um, they also hurt the way they work. Oh, uh, yeah, the, like your wrists and shit, huh? Yeah. Pointing it feels weird. Um, but they're super reliable. They, they don't jam. They, you can... You don't have to really take them apart you, to clean them. Yeah, you don't have to really take them apart to clean them. You will... Mo- you don't have to worry about one being in the chamber. You can walk around with it safely. It's pretty easy concept, actually. Yep. Uh, That's why cowboys used them in World War One. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure there was like a cowboy in World War One. <laughs> I'm sure there was a revolver in World War One. <laughs> oh yeah, well they had like the Wembley and stuff like that. Yeah. Or is, is it Wembley or Webley? I don't. Know. Wembley's a stadium. Dude, right? She New walked British. into the office. My office of all offices. Legs here to forever. <laughs> That's who uses a, revol- a revolver. 
But he uses like a 38. He uses like a snub nose. It's which reliable. increases the range. Yeah, it increases, which increases the range. The range. <laughs> <laughs> fucking <laughs> reduces the damage. Yeah, so it, no, it's this guy. It is this game. Well, no, not this because the Python was in one, right? It's this. It's an attachment for the Python, which is that you you equipped it and it's just called Snub Nose, so it's just like okay. And the what it does is it makes the gun long range and less damage, which is the opposite of what a Snub Nose pistol should do. Also, you're gonna learn this about me. I'm super OCD about my bullets. That's fine. You're playing this game correctly. No, but it has to be in multiples of how many bullets are in the gun. Uh, that's a little weird then. I, I have I, I don't have too many quirks, but that's one of the big ones. Why do they explode? That's the dumbest decision. So wait, does that mean you see you see where it's at three bullets right now? Yeah. And it's at sixty in in in, in storage. Yeah. I will not reload right now. Why? Because it'll fuck up the number. You like the number sixty? No. Okay. So it's this thing of like, I would much rather be down to a last full clip than to be down to sick to like an a, uneven number of bullets. What is wrong with you? Okay, let me put it this way. So you say have... I'm down to say I'm down to six bullets. Okay, which is a full clip quote. Okay, I would much rather be more worried about conserving that last clip than have an uneven ass clip and be stuck with like two bullets left. I think that's just generally preferable. <laughs> let me put. I I, I don't think that proves your OCD case. You'll see. You'll see. You'll see. I'll I'll. Okay. We'll see right now. Fuck. There we go. The hammer. The hammer smashed my penis to shit. I'm <laughs> fuck. That's from a poop called um it's a it's a like a really old um Thor cartoon. <laughs> like from the sixties or something. And they edited Loki to say that the hammer smashed my penis to shit, I'm fuck. <laughs> and it's so good. You know what game I've been playing a lot of recently? What? Fucking Lego Avengers. The Lego games are so good. The Lego games are really good. After. Dimensions is the best game ever. I haven't played Dimensions. It's really good. But uh, how is so? How is Avengers? I I my brother had the demo because he is a youngin. It's really fun. I like. I have no complaints about it other than uh, see because they put out fuck they put out. Uh, so how do you feel about six and eighty four right now? It's a multiple of six. So you're okay with that? Yeah. Oh! Oh, you're just worried that you won't have a, a spare full clip. Yes. That That's... The way you put it made literally zero sense compared to what I just said. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> I was like, what are you trying to say? Well, actually, you know what? The internet will, will decide that, if I'm an idiot or not. Like, they'll be like, nope, we get it. Mike makes perfect sense, you're just slow. I'll be See, like, look yeah, at this. Idiot. This last bullet, I'm waiting to shoot it. Because I cannot stand reloading in the middle of a clip. You have quick revive? Yes. Okay. Um, this doesn't look good. Oh, you can jump. I didn't know. You can jump out of there. <laughs> I wish zombies had a degree of fall damage. Yeah. Is it 78? Okay, well, let's look at it this way. If you're not wasting a shot, you will always have a multiple of six. Yeah. That's why I don't like to reload. You just don't reload. That's just efficient. I mean, in a game like this where that's not how that works. Well, like, a lot of people would be like, or a lot of people would tell me, it's like, you should reload when you have the chance. And it's like, no. <laughs> like, it gets to, it gets to, like, unreasonable levels. I used to Where it's like, that. it's like, you have one bullet left. You should reload in the middle of the round. No. <laughs> Or I'll shoot that bullet at nothing. <laughs> like, see right there? I should have reloaded. And I probably could right now because it's dogs. Oh, fuck! That scared me. Oh, dogs are easy. It's just the free ram all around. 
Until they're not. I've never not. I've never died to dogs. Unless I was on co-op and I was dicking around. Yeah. Oh, well, I mean, like when I was a kid, I was like, oh, well, they're so like, I can't shoot them. But it's like they, they take one bullet. See that? Yeah, now you have. Oh, go to your. You load that. Yeah. And then. Yeah, okay, so you know the trick then, which is to just be fully reloaded. Yes. Because it will take. It will eat up. Like, you'll get max ammo, and if you reload, it will eat up that ammo you just consumed. Yep. That's like. Fair. See, if I have five bullets in this, like, I, j I shot one and then I get max ammo, I don't get that sixth bullet back. <laughs> right. You have to have a full clip yep. to, to, to get the all of the ammo that you can. The maxest ammo that I can. The most efficient. Like, I'm glad that this, like, okay, the one thing I love about COD, and I just, I mean, I can't, I can't stand these games. They're, I, I don't know why there's so many of them. Is they're arcadey. Which a lot of shooters aren't. Oh yeah, not like ba Battlefield. Yeah. Or fucking Metro. Even like Halo or Gears See, of War. See, I can't, like, I can't. Those are wave, those are wave games or, or competitive games, and those still feel, they have a degree of like, you lucky f Ooh, and I got the what, fucking double what point. What was that? <laughs> what was that? If I get 200 more points, I can upgrade my python. To like a rattlesnake or whatever the fuck they decide. The wonder bottle? The, the wonder rifle? The wonder waffle? He is the coolest. Although, OG, it's the upgraded late ray gun that is the best. That's when zombies gets boring. When yeah. you just When you just pow pack a punch the, the freaking... Oh shit. I shouldn't. I shouldn't have been able to kill that thing with this thing. Okay. Um, oh no. You're pretty small right now, though. Like, I wouldn't be too scared. God, that python's incredible. I ne Mike. I never use grenades, Tapia. I use Semtex. Oh no. Oh yeah. That's pretty good, Mike. <laughs> Anyway, what? What were, what were we talking about? Because arsenic. Well, I think you you like this. Some... Get that one. Reload the other one. Oh shit! And then get it again. I didn't even know that I hadn't reloaded. But oh no! Oh. What's that one do? Speed car. What does that do? Reload. Reload speed. Oh jeez. Watch. Jesus. This thing. Oh Christ! Can you speed reload that? Is that the pa pack a punch version? Uh, I believe that's the pack a punch. But oh shit! I was like, why did you just trap yourself? Oh no! <laughs> I was like, you're you know they can come from there, right? Poor poor listeners have no idea what's going on. That's true. Um, I've uh oh oh I did a series. Do you remember my? ODS 2.3. I don't know if you saw it. Me? Yeah, I made like a really shitty quality like ODST playthrough, but it was really funny. Like everyone really liked it. And they want me to bring it back. Luckily, my 360's um, RGB cables don't work anymore. Luckily. So I am forced to record HDMI. I am, I am forced to not be lazy. No! What does that mean? <laughs> No, I mean, it just, it reloaded, and then he closed the, the thing after one. And I was like, don't you fucking dare. I was like, you reload normal. Oh, shit, you just reloaded. Give me. Oh, it's the Cobra now. It's got 12 in the, in the six-round chamber. Dude. Fetch me their source. Can I petition that Scott Roberts becomes the Nazi Zombies narrator? I second. I'm signing this petition. <laughs> Especially if you've seen him at Not Scary Farm. I haven't. You haven't? No. Oh my god. How is he? Too good. 
He's funny. He plays a character called Raggedy Andy. Well, I know what he does. I just, I've never, I haven't been there when he's And there. he has the skates as well. <laughs> oh, he has the skates. He has the skates too. They gave it, they gave everyone the skates this last year. Oh, did they? Yeah, and, um, <laughs> and I was like, look, everybody, it's Raggedy Andy. And Scott was like, you bet your butt it is. And he rail grinded the shit out of there. <laughs> it's like these motherfuckers trying to ice skate uphill. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Thank you, Michael, for giving me that one. That was really funny. The first time you dropped out, it was like I died. Oh ah, no! Fuck! Don't touch it! Why did you touch it? You can. You realize you can just wait, and it goes away, right? That's time out of honey. <laughs> Here we go. There it is. Actually, that thing's awesome. If you pack a punch, that, oh no! If you pack a punch, that that thing's fantastic. Okay, that took too many tries. Okay, th like for specifically for multiplayer. What is it? Monkeys! <laughs> no! You just lost all your perks. Um. It yeah! Get, get the monkey! <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> um. If you pack a punch, the uh, ballistic knife. Um. Or you can use it to heal. It's a one-hit knife, yeah, and then you can just shoot your buddy who's down and he's... What What do you honestly expect to do with that? Is it actually taking them out? That's funny. <laughs> no, it, it takes like ten points off. That's cute. That's the cutest thing That's, I've ever seen. That guy in the front has like four of them in it. <laughs> he's just confused. He's just like... What's Stop it. Yeah, I, I often train them a lot. I've heard training and kiting. I like kiting better. I don't know what kiting is. I don't like that. It sounds vaguely racist. Oh. <laughs> I don't know why. Training sounds vague as well, which is why I thought kiting was sounded more specific. <laughs> the only reason that's happening is because of Instagram. Good sound design. How do we do that? I know. Slap him. To her. Slap her. <laughs> um. But anyway, as I was saying, as what as what sparked this is that zombies are the ultimate villain. They're a reflection of of humans, and in 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 specific. Uh, lights their reflections of society. Just like how. Uh, what was. There we go! What? You literally got it back! It's the same gun! I mean, you're well off now. The reflections of society. It's, yeah, it's a reflection of society where you have, like, Night of the Living Dead, which was the. Which was the. Um, it was the. What's it called? McCarthyism? Yeah, it was, it was the Red Skin. Okay, it's better. You know, it was the it was the red scare. It was like commies. They can be any one of us, and they're surrounding us. You know, and then, and then in oh no, <laughs> in uh, I forgot to factor in the warp ability. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was fucking Granada. No, it didn't reload. <laughs> you also threw that under the stairs. Did I really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, with uh, with what is it? Dawn of the Dead. It was consumerism. You know, it took place in the mall, and that's what it was about. It was about American consumerism. You know, and and then later on, you know, they just kind of started being zombie movies after a while. You know, I mean, you have the remakes, but the remakes are just remakes. They're just telling the same story mm -hmm. that the other ones did. You know, Zack Snyder's 2004 Dawn of the Dead was really good. Also, funny story about Dawn of the Dead. In, I was in Mexico that year, and we bought a bootleg of Shaun of the Dead from some fucking Mexican bootlegger. I'm Mexican, by the way, just in case no one knows and thinks I'm a racist or something. Because I, I get pretty candid, but... <laughs> Um, well, here's your free pass. But, uh... Uh... 
But, um... Yeah, so we bought Shot of the Dead. We took it to where we were staying at the time. And it was fucking Dawn of the Dead. And it opens up... And, like, the opening of Dawn of the Dead is fucking... Like, that little girl bites that woman's... The main woman's husband in, like, the neck and, like, fucking rips her throat out. And I was like, this isn't funny at all. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, this isn't funny at all. <laughs> and it kind of scarred me. I was like, yo, this is not fucking Shaun of the Dead. And then when we got back home, I rented it, and I was like, oh, that wasn't Shaun of the Dead at all. I should have I should have realized this when I when I, I saw that they weren't British. But the way Sh- Zack... Sh- Schneider films his movies everyone looks Schneider oh Zack Snyder the way that Zack Snyder films his movies is that everyone looks super pasty is that racist probably oh oh the speed oh the speed loader there is a speed loader yes but yeah and so I I didn't recognize that oh no I'm dying oh no oh no Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> you proud? <laughs> um. But yeah, Zack Snyder makes you know makes everyone look kind of pasty and mm-hmm. sweaty and everything, you know. And I guess that's just the way he films his movies. There's a lot of blue in his movies. A lot of gray and sweat. Almost like Michael Bay's serious movies. Yeah. Like Pain and Gain. Pain and Gain is the sweatiest movie I've ever seen. It's disgusting. I I know it takes place in, like, Miami and stuff, and that could either be, like, a really clever, like, oh, look, even the actors look sweaty, or maybe they shot it on location. But it's also just... Michael Bay, are you people look so gross? But um, anyway, b- b- back to zombies. You know, you have you have remakes of these films that God damn it, get it. Yeah, just don't pick it up. <laughs> you have remakes of, of of these films where they're not they're not telling the same meaning because you know, Night of the Living Dead is about segregation. Oh God. Night of the Living Dead is about segregation? Yeah, it's about, you know, it's about segregation, and it's about, it's race. It's got a lot of racial undertones. It's, you know, uh, there's a there's an African-American antagonist. And then even at the end, he's killed because they think he's a, he's a zombie. Because... Reasons. Yeah, because, you know, I mean, it's, it's this kind of like, well, they all look the same. Why can't I kill this one? Is kind of the... Yeah. You know, the... the not the message of the film, <laughs> but, but the but the like the the object fallacy that that it, that the film is trying to to portray. Yeah, you know it's it's this. Well, they're well, you know they're all the same. You know, like it, within like, the context put... of these circumstances, no, this is false. Like maybe it should maybe it should make you think about the real life circumstances and why that's also false. And you know, I mean, oh no. <laughs> You've run out of quick revive, sir. You need a little revive. Do they just run away if you're not relevant? Basically. That's dumb. Like, I mean, I get that, like, that allows the... Oh. oh. Is that a one-hit kill? I don't know. Oh, well, you I also have also instant, instant, instant kill, yeah. Um, you know, but... Yeah, it is. Like Zombies it. are... They're faceless. They're faceless. They can be anybody. They can be... And anybody can be them. You yeah. know? You have... Oh, shit. Doggos. Anybody can be a zombie. And zombies could be anybody. You know? It's it's faceless. It's this... The, the political... The political climate of any time period that a zombie film is made in could be... Could represent the... You know... Uh, zombies in any time period ref- can reflect the worries of of that time you know yeah yeah zombie like the the concept of a zombie movie is so versatile that you could apply it to a, a various political messages and and the you know and then 
story wise, there's so many zombie movies with no zombies in them. You know, yeah. Like the Mist. The Mist is is one of those movies. It's a zombie movie with no zombies in it. You know, it's 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 this um, it's this fear of being outnumbered. I think that I like so much about it. You know, that's why I love I love zombie movies that take place in one location. I think I think those are great. I like I generally moot horror films that take place in one location. I love, you know, not necessarily. Hush? Huh? Hush. <laughs> oh, hush. Yeah. yeah, hush was super good. Hush is fantastic. That's where I got. Oh no! Well, that's true. That's fine. But hush is where I got extremities from. That's where. That's how I got to extremities. You know, mm-hmm. was was through hush. Was like, you know, I needed to find enjoyment in the. I needed to find enjoyment in, in what I was doing to this girl. So I'm not doing this right now. I haven't not played this in like a year. Damn, that was really good, dude. Um, yeah, no, I, I think uh, a lot of films have helped me get to certain places of like. Holy oh, like, fuck. What happened? My ex girlfriend sent me a picture of her. Someone made a dating profile for her, and it's like, hey, I'm Melissa, and I like deep throating. If you want to hook up tonight, here's my number. And it's her phone number. And I'm. <laughs> And that's something that I didn't do. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, that's pretty bad, dude. I haven't texted. I was like, "Holy fuck!" <laughs> I like think she's like, "I don't know. It's pretty funny." Um, I think um, one of my favorite aspects about zombie films is um. portraying the conflict of, and this is kind of uh, something I really liked about World's End uh, is, which the uh, the World's Edgar End Edgar Wright's oh, yeah. World, The World's End um, which is you know alien disaster film but probably could have been I mean he, obviously he has shot of the dead but I think that the theme of, of The World's End is much different yeah there's a social there's a sociability about it yeah like when Neil, when you and Scott worked on it, like his notes about like, you know, growing up and giving in and right, which doesn't conforming, which doesn't make sense, but it does. It's like, th- why are you worrying about that? And it's like because people do, because you're like a lot of people think, oh, a zombie movie should it's all survival. People get primal, and it's like I don't like that. I don't like that as a strong choice. I like to think that it's fun to watch people sort of dance on their um, uh, integrity. You know, like, what what pertains to um, people's sense of, like, belonging? And when you eliminate that feel, like, when you eliminate what you're belonging to, Mm -hmm. what does that do to you? Kind of like what we were talking about, your grandma or whatever like the religion thing it's like yeah. it's like a you have to it's a rethink your life moment yeah and that's that's kind of interesting and then and then to take it further with zombies not just rethink your life confront that your life is over yeah or that life is over or any life like then you because like okay cool uh, i mean that i mean because then last of us you know you have the advantage of 20 years later so they've done most confronting and you're living in a world of no hope. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, you're wor- you're living in this post post disaster world. You're. Wait, can you put that gun over there? Yeah, you can play with the yeah. gun. <laughs> you're cool. You're cool, boy. Um, <laughs> but um. That's kind of loud. <laughs> what is? Oh. Ah, fuck. <laughs> but um. Um, you know, something that I tried to write in 27 was, you don't see a lot, something that I saw in, in the Walking Dead game, the, the Telltale one, is something that I've never seen done in a zombie movie, which was the handling of mental illness 
in the apocalypse. Because, granted, you have a lot of post-apocalyptic films where it's like, oh, he's all crazy Wait, which, ever since... Which film is this? I'm sorry. This is The Walking Dead um, game. Oh, the, the, the Telltale game? Yeah. They're so good. The second one, the second season two... That's free right now. I already, well, I already... Oh, I don't have it at all. Um, I bought the bundle. It comes with all of the Walking Dead ones. So it's got Michelle and, and it's got... Um, Season one and two. It didn't. It didn't come out when season three was out yet. But um, the thing was, is 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 they had that little girl who was possibly aut- probably autistic. Yeah. And I I really think she was, you know, just because the dad, you know, he was like, if we took her out of her safe space, she wouldn't be able to function. And I was like, that sounds like someone with autism. Yeah. You know, and. It, it, um... You playing Gun Game? Yeah. I, Gun Game. I actually like the sensitivity. Maybe. Maybe less than, like, five. You had it at four before. Yeah, I don't know why. Um... But, uh... Ooh. Mm-hmm. But, um... You know, uh, and that's something I tried to write with... 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 27, <laughs> which... W- was mental illness in the apocalypse. Because you have to assume that... Quite a few people would be experiencing some sort of, you know, mental illness after yeah. such an event, you know, and, oh, and you don't, you don't see a lot of that. You see people where it's like, oh, you know, old man Jenkins is crazy now that the bombs dropped, but, right. but that's not specific. And it's also, oh, uh, looking throughout that at history is really interesting. You know, you have, is looking at the way war has handled war or tragedy has handled mental illness. Like PTSD, was yeah. not a thing until World, or until Vietnam. People yeah, it was like sh- it was shell shock before that. Yeah, and it was like, oh, he's got shell shock. He's crazy, and it's like, and it's like, well, because you handle him like, like an animal, like an animal, like, you know, is it's like, you, there's no way that these fucking hardened GIs could have seen someone getting their dick blown off, in you know, in, on Normandy, or so, someone getting their fucking head blown off, you know. In, in Japan, there's no way that seeing that could turn them into, like, I mean, for lack of a better word, a pussy. Like, there's yeah. no way that that'll happen, right? And so when they come back, they're crazy. They're not, like, you know, damaged. Right. And, um... Yeah. Which is why, like, back to now the zombie film <laughs> Back to the zombie films, um, it's always interesting to see that, you know. Because I think there's this push... To be like, you know, I love the decision of like, is this person deadly? Yeah. Oh, what, yeah. What, how do you respect oh, life? Yeah. 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 yeah the yeah. respect of life versus the need to survive. Yeah. This this moral decision versus a survival decision. You know, it's a, which one of these is gonna make me a good person? Which one of these is gonna help me continue to be alive? Which is what a lot of what Twenty Seven was born out of was. It was this, well, I've survived without having to make these decisions. What happens when I have to make it? And, you know, am I making the right choice? Am I making the wrong choice? What do I do? And I think in the end, I think my favorite aspect about it is, like, there's that. There's your own sense of personal morality, but then, like, the group morality, which is kind of like Negan. Yeah. And... Walking Dead. Oh yeah, and who's the most? Who's the most like? He's right, but also in the context of our heroes, they it's so it's so justified why they hate him. Oh yeah, he's cause... gonna win. Like he's the best. He's he's objectively succeeding. Mm-hmm. It's just that you just don't like it. You don't want him to. Yeah. You don't want him to, but he's he's gonna. Sorry, yeah. like he he he's the one who gets it. Someone phase. <laughs> Fucking right there. Bug two under you. Phase. Uh, I see why. I get see. See why get wrecked. Oh, I see get wrecked. Oh. What the fuck? How come some of these hit harder? Than that? See oh. that one. That one kind of pumps and then. And then sometimes the it's the I think it's. 
if you time it right, you'll get the... Oh, I like this map a lot. I don't have the highest I'm hosting now. Cause I won. There we go. Man, thank God for my internet. Actually, you were telling me about that the, the ending scene for Dart, and I was going to ask you if that, that's the final script, the one that we all have. No, you will be getting a new one. Okay. But, but what you, do you mean? What do you mean? You, you said mean the, the possible you, one? Yeah, you said Anthony comes out with the... the huh? No, no. Wait, what is Anthony doing? The character. Okay. Wait, so what? He comes out of the darkness and with a sword, you mentioned? Oh, oh, you mean the bridge scene? Is that... Yeah. Yes, Levon's adding the bridge scene. Oh, okay. With a sword and a single shot pistol. Because he's, he's like, I'll use melee and I'll shoot him when he runs out of darts. Because if I shoot my one dart now, I'm fighting a dude with a Maverick. Yeah. So, like, yeah. Which would explain why he doesn't shoot dude. right off the bat. Fog machine. In a park? I'd be down. Who has a fog machine? I want to say JD might. Could you pull Oh, because you're younger. That's, oh. that's my brother. Oh, that was who I was talking about. That was in the hospital bed. Well, I mean, yeah, that was when I was a junior in high school. Oh, well, then, yeah. That was in 2013. Which is hard to think that that was four years ago. Do you have a fog machine? Also, they're not that hard to find. They have a what, Party City yeah. uniform. Uh, if, there, if I had a need for it past 27, I w I'd buy one for us to use. I smelled something the other day that reminded me of a fog machine. I like, specifically fog. laser. I love, yeah, I love fog machines. Um, like, the smell of, like, going to Laser Star. Oh, oh, shit. Dude, that takes me back. No, my favorite smell in the world is Halloween Horror Nights. Any, uh, any, any, any Halloween poor guy. themed fucking, any Halloween themed theme park. Theme parks in general are my favorite smell, or, like, my second favorite smell, but more specifically... There's the smell of fire. There's the smell of chainsaw smoke. There's the smell of fear. And people think that fear doesn't have a smell. It does. What? It smells like fear. What is... It, Thanks. There's nothing... I can't... I, there's nothing I can compare for fear. <coughs> I don't think fear is. No. I think it does. That could also just be, you know, my, my fucking... My spastic side. What the fuck? I mean, I'm using the most accurate shotgun and just missing. Let's see if you got hit. Ooh, that was good. That was good. Hip fire, it like okay, being a console player, you just kind of gotta rely on like the hip fire sometimes, like that. You just kind of shoot and think later. Yeah, but that was that's that's the fucking full auto shotgun. I'm not even worried about that. Every gun now is full auto, so. Oh, from now on, yeah. Yeah, I mean, well, I mean, until I get snipers and stuff, which is gonna be its own little bitch. But whatever. Let's see. That's disgusting. I don't like any of that. Yeah, no, this game's not that well polished. <laughs> Ooh, crap. Behind right you. Me. Oh. Uh, free kill. Oh, that guy, that guy's been not playing since the beginning. That's fine. <laughs> Use your boost. In Halo, there was, like, this kind of unspoken, like, if someone's AFK, you don't touch them. What's AFK? Away from controller or keyboard. Oh, AFK. Oh. But people who say AFC are just like, okay. Like, we understand what AFK means just because it's a PC thing. Like, oh. Because PC gaming took off before console gaming did. Yeah. So that's where the term originated from. It's no! <sighs> Connection is everything in COD. <laughs> which sucks because it's a hitscan game. What's Dude, I would like to... Hitscan is like the way the bullet... Or you just don't get to play. <laughs> Alright, that's fine. I'll just fuck myself. Um, hit scan is um, uh, the way the bullet like there's no bullet there's just like did you aim and then there's the, the like the line of code action and it's like did you hit it mm -hmm. so like you'll you'll hit the the hit box or like wherever the the developer assigns or the kill mm -hmm. box and there's that so you don't have to worry about like is there any game that have a real bullet yeah any game prior to like two thousand five like oh. um, well I mean not all but like Quake, Doom, 
those uh, you're using projectiles. You have to lead the target. You have to like drift it. Be like, yo, this. Not even Battlefield has that. Like now, Battlefield slightly. And the only re- it's like it's like with the snipers and shit. It's like you gotta aim a little higher because the bullet's gonna fall. They just move the hit scan a little lower because it's like. Ooh, look I knife. my trigger locked up and I was like lucky. Peace to Steve. That's funny. That is pretty funny. <laughs> Uncle Grandpa. Hey kids, it's Uncle Grandpa. It's fucking Uncle Grandpa. I just love the fucking Steven Universe crossover. He's like, don't worry, bro. None of this is canon. And I was like, that's funny. It's fucking stupid, but it's funny. Cartoon Network's like ahead of the fucking game now. I haven't been I haven't been caught up with Adventure Time for like years. That's because like, Adventure Time stopped keeping up with Adventure Time. What? Yeah, it got really bad after Rebecca left. What do you mean, really bad? Like, like it just sense? it was just too much. Like the plots just got weird. Oh, okay. It just it became too intricate. Like they introduced too many characters. They were like, "Oh, see character, don't steal," and we don't were like, "Steal." Yeah. <laughs> and I, I mean, Adventure Time always had that quirk of like. Our characters are way too relatable for a cartoon show. Uh-huh. But at the but same yeah. time, it just got annoying. It was like... Adventure time, my little friends. Play the song on my ukulele. Yep. Ukulele, yeah. hipster bullshit, corn and everything. Adventure time. And Woo! I mean... Ooh! Ooh! Oh, Boys. dang it. I was like, I wanted to... You got fucked by Psychonauts 52! Doors. Was I demoted? You got no! killed by Suicide X Men. Or Suicide That's Men. It, we're done. Because X is. Uh, you got killed by Psycho Nuts again. Oh, shit. Psycho Nuts is dragging his Psycho Nuts across your face. <laughs> I'm about to go nuts and Psycho all in one day. I fucked Canada real hard. That's right. Fuck Canada. Sorry to our Canadian listeners. <laughs> um, I'm sure you have maybe like one. One what? Canadian listener. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Where do you post these? YouTube and SoundCloud. Although I'm changing that soon because SoundCloud only allows a certain amount of time. Oh, really? Yeah, so like, it's like, you only have two hours of like, of, of available good. time. So like, if you're an artist, it's like, that's super cool, I can put like two albums on there. Yeah. If you're a podcast, you're, you're fucked. You can only have two episodes up at a time and then you, they just automatically delete, delete the oldest one. Oh, you mean two hours in total? Of total of everything. Oh, that's fucking dumb. Yeah. I mean, you can pay to get more, but it's like... Pay? For a free? Yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah, well, it's their service. They can do whatever the fuck they want. Oh, that's true. But at the same time, like, it's shitty. It's like, well, you want business? <laughs> Stop running at these people. It's what? like the, uh... Well, because I want to... I, I don't know why I'm just committed to fucking... What the hell? Yeah, you killed Canada again. He's a weeb, though. He must have really bad reception, because I'm pretty sure he died by the wall. Or he's in Canada, so... Um... Oh, I'm going to get fucked from behind. Check this out. I forgot what I was talking about. I'm going to fuck him behind. You know, this is a single shot gun. What are we talking about? Oh, we were talking about Canada. No, before that. I don't remember. Before I went on that tangent about the fog machine. You like... Sir- oh, smell of fear. Oh, yeah. I think fear has a smell. I, what does it smell like? What's the closest thing you could equate it to? <sighs> I... This is, it. this is the end times, folks. Are you serious? I guess I would say... I guess I would say sweat. Hello? Hey, I'm hanging out with a friend of mine. Uh, Mike's on the phone right now, everyone. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be... I'm oh, sorry? I said I'm hanging out with a friend of mine. <sighs> I can't, I can't hear you. I'm going to see what it sounds like. If I draw, oh, probably on the mic. draw on the mic. I'm not too sure why. 
That's what I'm... Because I still have... Huh? I'm here, Monovia. Where are you guys? You're home? I smoke it. Does that sound good? Okay. I hope that sounds good. I'll go ahead and draw. I'll call you when I'm on my way. On the other side? Here. Bye. Alright. Okay. Be thanks. Love you, bye. There you go. Alright. I hope you guys like that. That's so, really good. Yeah? What, what the fuck are you doing? I was like... <laughs> that thing's... What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> I was like, hello everyone. Thanks for the fun night. And we're gonna see how uh, it feels uh, to be drawn on this. <laughs> drawing on the microphone. Does that feel good? Does that sound good? <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, I'd have to say sweat. I mean, that makes sense. People sweat when they're afraid. So maybe you're smelling sweat. But it's fear sweat. Fear It's sweat. not hot. It's not... It's not fear heat, sweat. It's, it's not heat sweat. It's fear sweat. It's fear sweat. Not the not the smell of the penis. The smell of the penis? I said the smell of the penis. Woo! Let me try this. Can I be player two? Yeah, no, we can play. Can I be Luigi? Dude, I'm always Luigi. Fuck off. <laughs> Dude, Luigi's the best. Get the fuck out of here. Luigi wins by doing absolutely nothing. And you're wrong. No! Man, he fucked you good. Yeah, goddammit. I, I unloaded all of my nerf strifes. And then I was <laughs> out of fucking foam for four years. Fucking my favorite Green Ted story. It's like when you're, when you're, you're at your friend's house. And you're, is that what you call them? Green text stories? Yeah. Are they not green text stories? It's kind of posts. Or green text post? I guess, yeah. I've heard that before. But, um, it was like, it was like be me, yeah. be, my, be 10, sitting at my, my, my friend's house playing N64. Or no, it was, yeah, I was playing at my friend's house playing N64. I grabbed the, the better controller first and he's like, he's like, oh, I wanted that. And I said, too bad. And then, his mom comes in and beats the shit out of him for something. And drags him into the other room. And I hear hitting and crying and I'm still playing. Trying to ignore it. He comes back in tears and he's like, hey, can I be player one? No. <laughs> Is there a kill cam? Because I want to see this. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. No. But the best one, the, like that started, that started from another one where it was like, you go to your, you're at your your house, and you get the shit beat out of you by your mom, and then, if you have like really cool friends, you know you'll come back and you'll sit down. You won't say anything. Go, hey buddy, you want the you want the cool controller? You want to be Luigi? Yeah, you want to be Luigi? We're we're being really nice to you. We won't beat the shit out of you. Yeah, you want to be Luigi, buddy? Like I've had that happen to me on on maybe like four different occasions. You got beat four different times? Yeah, like, uh, everyone's parents beat them at some point. And I've had to be the, the friend, like, way more occasions than that. My, my, my neighbor, he was a shit. Uh, so he was, like, you know, he'd get regularly beat. And, like, one time his mom did it when she didn't know I was there. And then when she realized that I've been there once, that broke the seal. And she's like, I'm just going to beat him whenever he's here now. <laughs> like it was like it's like you're part of the family now but you don't do anything bad enough to get you beat by me like I remember there was one time that a parent told me to shut up once and I was like what <laughs> oh wow yeah cause I was like I was asking my friend's mom if if um if he could stay the night check this out Mike oh damn it <laughs> no no <laughs> you'll see no Mike this is gonna be fucking cool Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. I need to find a dude. Here we go. Dang it. There you go. Oh. Man, both of you fucking sucked right I there. went for the lose. I went very strong for the lose. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> here we go, here we go. Turn. Fuck you. Oh. <laughs> he devoted himself. That's true. 
So doesn't that mean he stays at the same gun? Yeah. No, he goes back at the gun. But he killed you. Oh, I guess he does stay. So that means he's... He won. God you, damn it! You lose. People shoot bullet from gun rifle, but I don't land on gun shoot. So people... So people are, like, gonna be listening for this to this for the first time. They're gonna think that you just have, like, a shitty microphone connection. So you're saying all these words out of order? And like, what the fuck is he really saying? I will never clarify. Uh, I will absolutely never clarify. I will only own it. I mean, you gotta make sure you... Slap that lady in the face. No, come here. Come here! Come here! Yeah! Fuck. <laughs> come here! Oh, you got sticked. Um, I keep, I keep, I have a fucking horrible <sighs> train of thought. Oh! Wow. Oh! You, got him, you got him with, like, the last little, you got him with the last drops. Oh, no! <laughs> Double kill, what the fuck? No, that's stupid. I wanted the triple! Oh, you got the chicken? The chicken is cool. I hate the fucking chicken. The that's one that's, stupid. like, press as fast as shoot. <laughs> <laughs> But you can get the fucking full auto upgrade and then also the rapid fire upgrade and it someday my words will make sense. It fucking just <laughs> and that's it. Damn, dude, that was pretty good. This is pretty good, dude. You're not no! gonna, you're not gonna win. I got a triple kill. It was pretty good. Hey, uh, your pottery looks. You know, uh, you should sell some of your pottery. It looks pretty good. You look pretty good. <laughs> you have nice titties for a little boy. <laughs> what is that? Is that a bomb? You have nice titties for a little boy. <laughs> <laughs> Pokes him in the eye. You fucking <laughs> attempted, dude. Run. Wait, someone's gonna walk out here. This is gonna be fun. Okay. Yeah, thanks, Mike. All right, now we're gonna take a sniper rifle and we're gonna shoot a dude in the butt. Check this out. This is how you get. <laughs> this is how you get a girlfriend. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> How to get a girlfriend video five of six. Ah! Oh, he's got a cocket launcher. Ah! Oh. Cocked you good. <laughs> well. <laughs> All caps, how to get a girlfriend really works. <laughs> Four or five. Really works, link included. <laughs> link in description. <laughs> FTP Suicide Men 12. I'm glad you won. Or Suicide X Men. I gotta see this. This is gonna be cool. Oh! Oh! oh. Shoot him in the dick. <laughs> <laughs> I am Switzerland in this war. I was bottom. It was, I was bottom. It was man. really cool up until he landed, and then I was like, "Man, this guy fucking." <laughs> he did a trick. It's like, it's like doing a kickflip, falling off your board, and then getting back on your board. All right, I just continuing. saved this film, so maybe like. Maybe the audience might see this. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Anyway, you were saying a thing. A thing. Um, How long are we into this podcast? Because I want it to be super long. An hour, that's fine. It's not too bad. An hour's fine. Um, um, oh, here. You want to You shoot men good and get good. That's that's how you win. Get good? You uh, get, get I'll, good. I'll try there's so many fucking FTPs. What is this? The clan war. Is it a clan war? The K with the K. With the K. Oh. Excuse me. I don't actually mean that. Audience. Clan with a K? Yeah. I don't mean that. The clan. They're not real. They never happen. When is the day I make the joke that gets me thrown in jail? That's every day. <laughs> You've just you've just put me on the on the grid by doing this. <laughs> well, there's a guy guys. I'm me. pretty good at uh, them bail bonds. Oh, I changed my sensitivity. Fuck! I, at least I hit him. <laughs> Look at the blade. Ah! Oh, fuck! Fuck! <laughs> Oh, <laughs> <shit>. <laughs> that dude was like that dude tried. These little eggs with the chocolate like wafer in the middle is so is the best. 
They're like the um, Whoppers, oh, but no. I like Whoppers. A lot of people hate Whoppers. Whoppers are pretty good. Dude, you killed him in the foot. <laughs> Dude, look, go back. Go back. Fuck! There's a stain in the wall? Look. Ah, okay. oh, damn it. Which boat is it? Is it this one? Yeah. It's probably despawned, though. Damn. It has a long range. Ah! Uh, disgusting. Like that one shoots pretty far, but it has, like, the, the counter is that it pumps is really slow. Pump is? <laughs> oh no! He seemed me. Yeah! Which I'm at. Um, I got a shotgun. Okay. It goes one, two, three, four, and then it turns. Oh yeah, and then he turns the barrels, yeah. Mm -hmm. Future shooters are super cool because of the creative gun designs. Yeah. <sighs> oh, that actually saved my life. <laughs> nice. Yeah, no, there's some pretty interesting gun designs. I don't know if, if, if really many of them would be functional mm -hmm. or practical, but they're still fucking cool. I forgot there's no grenades. What's the history of this boat, dude? Like, seriously. No, yeah, look at the blood on the wall. That was from that guy's foot. <laughs> <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, man, what the boost the is broken. What do you think the history of this boat is? We're playing on the boat map, by the way, Black Ops 2. The fucking murder boat? Dude, 50,000 people used to live here. <laughs> now it's a ghost town. Dude, now it's a ghost town. Now dude. it's a ghost ship. Dude, now it's a go ghost ship? Yeah. We're talking about ghost ship now? Oh, uh, dude, I'm gonna... The best opening scene and attached to, like, the worst movie ever. Wait, what? Ghost ship. Oh, I've never seen that movie. Oh, dude, it's fucking crazy. The opening of the movie... The ship is haunted... Because in the opening of the movie, everyone's out on the dance floor in the 50s, and it something gets fucked up, and basically this giant wire slices its way through everyone's midsection on the ship. And then, you know, the ship... What? Yeah, the ship What is, do you mean? The ship is a dead. How does a what? Wait, a wire? Like a physical wire? Yeah, like an actual wire. Like a big, thick wire. Slices through everyone. Except for this little girl. And then she dies because they didn't feed her because you gotta feed children or whatever. Like everyone just gets like Darth Mauled? Yeah. That's funny. Yeah. That's pretty funny. Yeah, it was... I mean, it's something else. Yeah, yeah, well, um... Yeah, so... I don't... Like, we mentioned a few times uh, Dart, which is the movie that I'm directing and uh, it will be written by writer of Pale Horse, our friend Levon. Uh, Mike will be in it as uh, a character as well as working in, on um, the crew. And yep. I think post-production will mainly just be me and Michael, but I mean, I, yeah. I, I'd love your two cents. I, I'd love your... I mean, the only thing that I can offer you in fucking post is my <laughs> my two cents. I'm kind of useless when it comes to the the post. Yeah. I'm, I'm an idea guy. Yeah. I'm very much so an idea guy. I'm very much so a, a, hey, like, even when it comes to filmmaking, I'm more point and shoot and directing than, yeah. like, give me that. I mean, in fact, I prefer to shoot things on my own, but also it needs to be, like, the simplest it can be before I put, uh, before I even touch it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know? Because I'm all ideas and I'm all concepts and I'm all you know, where things should be and what should be in the frame, but in terms of actually, like, lighting a scene or actually focusing a scene, I'm fucking terrible. <laughs> and and post, I'm not bad at editing. It's just, it's tedious and it's not where I want to spend my time. Yeah, as, yeah, shit yeah. As, as shitty as that sounds, it, it, post is not where I want to spend my time. Yeah, like, if I had to tackle all of post, like, at the rate Michael did, I would have probably ended my life. 
but at the same time, same I same. like it. I like it. I actually do like editing. Mm-hmm. I do enjoy it. Um, I have fun editing these podcasts. I have fun editing uh, little like videos, and, like, uh, any like gaming things mm-hmm. or, or things that I do. Um, uh, and then even uh, mainly though, um, yeah, I'm just I'm super stoked uh, that that I, I have as many people involved as I do. Uh, table read is this Thursday, yep. which is in two days. Oof, nervous about that. Um, gonna talk to Levon about printing the scripts, which is gonna be interesting. How many scripts are there? There are for well, I mean, if I'm putting a script in the hands of the cast members and then I can just use my laptop, a physical script would be ten. Okay, so ten, and how many pages is it? Uh, with rewrites, we're looking at maybe twenty-five. You're looking at maybe thirty. Yeah, yeah, we already forty dollars. We looked at that. That's fine. Uh. Um. Yeah. So I mean, but I, I first need the physical, like entire version. But for the most part, storyboarding's been pretty easy. Like, and then like, oh, I, I'm glad that I've been, me and him have been coming up with a lot of these ideas. Because mm. like, even if I don't have the physical script, I have storyboard. Yeah. Because we 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 just started. Um, we have the the books now, and we're we're formally doing that. It's not just in my little notebook anymore. Yeah. Anymore. It's now on these big things, like in panels, and we have illustrations now, mm-hmm. and that's super. Nice. Do you have breakdown sheets? Yes. Okay. Yeah, no, it's it's a it's a breakdown sheet. It's a it's a one side's a picture, and it's like what are you seeing? What kind of motion is the the shot? Mm-hmm. All that details and audio. What are you hearing at this moment? And then like you know scene number like that. Shit, you would copy onto a. Something that in post, when we look at it, it's going to be useful. But do you have, like, an actual breakdown sheet? I think so, yeah. Let me, let me find you. Let me yeah, go. like, I, I, we have a lot of things, I just don't know if we call it that. I mean, here, let me find something. Because if, if you don't, it would be super helpful. Um, but that's more, that's more, that's something that only you and Michael. maybe, yeah, Michael would see. Um, but yeah, I... It's like a flow chart. Let me see. I'll pull. I'll pull it up. I, I can't really explain it, but um, yeah, I have to start free throwing. I'm fucking. I have to finish one of three. Because it's done, but I feel like there's something missing, and I'm getting all these people to read it, and it, n- no one's reading it. The fucking. The fucking pace of. No one's reading at my pace. One of like, three is is something Michael Mike's working is Mike here is working on. It's uh, he's pretty much finished. He's cast it. You cast it, right? Yeah, you cast it. Yeah, you cast it, and uh, it's gonna be cool. Uh, it's more of a thriller, <laughs> a bit of horror. I think more of a thrill, a drama thriller. Drama thriller, yeah. I, I wasn't gonna say horror because I don't think there's any. It was here. originally a horror, and then I realized I was like, mm, no. Yeah. I mean, there's horrible things in it. <laughs> Which, uh, actually, like, if you, if you do want to work on a horror, like, even after I'm gone, uh, Michael made a thing called Dirt, which was super cool. And dirt? Dart? What? Yeah. Uh, dirt was cool, and he, it was just a project for his class, but it ended up having, like, there was longevity to this project. Mm. And they just filmed what they could for what they like. Like they they fulfilled the prerequisites for the assignment, uh-huh. and then bailed. But Michael wanted it to be more. Yeah. And so later, after we did, he did that. We started shooting the shit about like, you know, what if it was gender bent? What if like you know did we have these awesome ideas? Uh-huh. Uh, and I was like, Michael, you should you should full fledge that, you know. And he's like, maybe I don't know, because mm. you know, I talked to him about this yesterday, so I'm not I'm not talking shit behind his back. It's no, just yeah. a conversation I've already had with him. Um, and so, yeah, I was like, dude, Mike's really into horror. Like, you guys would get along swimmingly. You and JD and, and Mike would, would just... I don't know. You guys seem to be all in the same ballpark about what you want to make. And um, I'm sitting here looking at comedies and things that make people cry. I mean, I'd love to... One of three is going to make people cry. I... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I. 
I didn't want people to cry because of what I do to her. I, I, I also wanted it to. Well, I meant like the audience. Oh, yeah. Be, like, like, yeah. When you're evoking a response. I, I don't like that a lot of films now, like, they're like, their goal is to give you the feels. Yeah. Because, like, then you question it and then it's gone. Like, you'll never feel that way again. Yeah. Like, I've gone back and I've watched a lot of films. Like, as a kid, I was like, oh, it's pretty sad. Like, her parent died or something. And I went, yeah. no, the way they handled that makes me cry as an adult. Um, specifically, a series of unfortunate events, the Jim Carrey one. I had never, before you go into that, I had, up until Arsenic, I had never seen Bambi's death <laughs> Yeah, no, or I... Or Bambi's mother's death. It's cold as hell. And Aaron showed me, and I was like... Yeah, that was in theaters. That was... Di- and Disney I cried did. in the room, my makeup, and I was like... I was wearing makeup, I was in a show, fuck. Uh, yeah. But yeah, I ruined the makeup, because I was like, oh my god. Oh, that's right, I was an old man, that's why. That's that's why I make You're the old man yeah, who I dies at, at the end. At You're the, the last movie. kill. I'm the, fi- the final kill cam. <laughs> <laughs> um, Mike taps out you. Fucking. <laughs> Wait, let me see. Uh, but the scene where the kids get the letter from their parents, and it's implied, and there's no like. <sighs> in the books and stuff, there's this whole vibe that like, and even in the, uh, they pull a switcheroo in the, uh, in the show. Um, it's always kind of this mystery. Of, are the parents really dead? Yeah. Are, are they dead? Did they actually die in the fire? Did they get out? Are yeah. they like? super crazy secret agents now uh-huh. um and uh is it just a, a sheet of all the, the shots no it's god fuck i'm gonna i'm gonna find it look for it and send it to me when we're less distracted like you uh, you tell me about yeah no they and so like in the movie they they did their own thing like they were like i mean they were it was still based off it was still adapted well yeah, um, but it, it ends up wrapping up a lot sooner. It just does the first three books and stuff like that, and you know the kids are like, mm, you know, parents like they they take one last look at the mansion, mm. and the the score of the movie is Thomas Newman, so already set to make you cry, uh-huh. and uh, that actually that like I guess I'm super into soundtracks. The the freaking last, the last, excluding the credits, the last theme in the score is titled The Letter That Never Came. And it's a letter they fuck. get really late from their parents. Oh, fuck. It's like, you know, no matter where you are, we'll always be with you. Oh, and it's like, oh. as a kid, you're like, oh, are they alive? Like, oh, what's this? And it's just, it's like, it doesn't matter. <laughs> They'll never see their parents again. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Like, whether they're dead or they're they're gone, it's just not gonna happen. And this is just the, that last moment. And I was like, Christ, like, it's a freaking Viacom Nickelodeon film. That made me ball as a, like, 19-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was pretty. Yeah. I remember that. Yeah. Um, I love that movie. Uh, the, 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 of the not steampunk steampunk. Here. Use Celtics, too. I haven't been using it on the phone, though, because it's been fucking up real good. Yeah, same here. Um, here. Oh, this is the big bed sheet? Cool. Just I know, I swipe them up. I don't read them. Script a breakdown sheet, production, SFX, props. It's just one sheet for the entire thing? That's one sheet for a person. It's like a checklist. Basically, yeah. It's like a checklist. It's of... just, I need, I need it, I needed it a lot cleaner than just a checklist. Oh, it's all filmed like this. But let me see if I can, oh, did you see that? Was that the, the yeah. foot? You see it on the floor? Yeah. Okay. So basically, he masqueraded as this fucking mentally challenged man making YouTube tutorials about fucking nothing. Do you have a blank one of these? Yeah, I'll, I'll send find that it. my way. Look here. Let, let me put on one of the first ones. 
or just send me that picture and I can draw them myself. I can, as long as I have a, that in my notebook, I can. That's good. All right. Well, um, before you show any more, um, yeah, no, that was a, uh, uh, first podcast in a long time, uh, probably about a month or so since the last time I uploaded. Um, and yeah, no, I, I, I like, um, having guests. Uh, originally I was going to do this one alone. Originally I was going to just be like, you know, what, what I've been doing, but I think we, I think we, we touched on that and still had some cool shit to talk about as far as like yeah. zombies, video games, I mean, absolutely. movies. So yeah, no, thanks man. Uh, all right, I will see you all later when I decide to do things. Bye, everyone. Bye.